Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, in June 1st, 2021. If you like the supporter channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and uh, we'll start by looking at the SP 500. So we did fall today in most of the indices, but not a lot. Stock market was basically closed today. So we're down towards the 4,000. Uh, 193. So it looks like we are heading towards the 20 exponential. If that breaks, we could head towards the 50, and the 15 has been basically the bottom of this market. So around uh, 4,120. If that were to break, then we could see this drop towards 4,000. Otherwise, to the upside, we've managed to take out these previous highs here of 4,250, give or take. They will most likely go to 4,000. And 400. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly bearish at this point. MACD is flat, stochastic is fairly bullish, uh, CCI is becoming uh, bearish, and the RSI is uh, bearish as well. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, same here, same thing here. It fell roughly 0 0.4 uh, 40 percent and uh, is heading towards the 20 exponential down here at the 34. 34,250, give or take. If that were to break, then we have the 50 moving average down here, 33,850. And that has been the bottom of this market for quite some time now. If that were to break, then we could see this drop towards 33,000. To the upside, 35,000 will most likely be our target. Taking the indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, and CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is also flat. So let's look at Nasdaq. So Nasdaq is down roughly uh, the same as the, as the Dow Jones. And um, we're hovering just above the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average and also the middle of the bullish band. So 30, uh, 13,500, uh, that should be quite a, lot, give us quite a lot of support. If that were to break, then we could drop to, uh, down towards the 13,000 and then towards the 200 moving average. But 13,000 is where we tested it several times in the past, and we basically rallied from there. So if we manage to break above 14,000, then we could head towards 15,000. So yes, it is too early to say where this market is going. We're right in between the top and the middle of the uh, bullish band, and uh, we're just hovering in the middle of nowhere. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX fell... Um, Quite a bit towards the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are fairly bearish for the German DAX. We can see the MACD is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. The stochastic is bearish, CCI has become bearish, and also the RSI. So the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average have all both been offering quite a lot of support down here at 15,200, give or take. And then we have 15,000, which is uh, massive support down here. If that were to break, then we could see this drop significantly further to the downside. We're still in uptrend, 50 moving average. We have been bouncing off that. To the upside, we've managed to take out the uh, 15,600 and will most likely go to 16,000. So let's look at the UK 100. So same thing here, it fell towards the 20 exponential, found support there. If we manage to break below the 20, then we have the 50 down here at uh, 6,921. And that has been absolutely monster support uh, recently when we have tested the 50 moving average. We have this uh, very bullish candlestick here every time we get towards the 50 and then we rally to the upside. But to the upside, we'll most likely run into resistance at uh, the top of the bullish band here, which is at 7,113. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly flat at this point. MACD is bullish, stochastic flat, CCI is flat, and so is the RSI. So let's look at a China 50. So China 50 did fall quite a bit, all the way down to 7,917. And I think this probably is just the beginning of this fall. We had this massive rally here, and usually it falls back towards support. And support recently has been the middle of the bullish band, so we could test the previous highs here, are roughly 17,700, or the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly 7,400. Technical indicators, they are turning around. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and CGI is really turning around, still in positive territory, and the RSI is bearish indeed. So it looks like we are just going to go back towards support and then probably 
continue to the upside. So hope you found this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.